Hello everyone, it is Grace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've made a lifelong purchase. As you can tell by the title, I have bought a Chanel bag. I have been saving up for one. I'm going to be unboxing my Chanel bag for you all today. Please don't mind the Christmas tree. I haven't taken it down yet and I thought it would make a cute background. I am so excited. I will give a bit of backstory and I'm going to unbox the bag and show you all it. This is probably the only time in my life when I'm going to have no bills to pay, no responsibilities. So I just thought, you know what? Why not do it? For me, this is the most perfect bag ever because... I've wanted it for so long. It will probably go with every single outfit in my wardrobe. It's gonna go with everything. I've really thought this through. I can't even explain to you how excited I am. So I'm just gonna get it open and then we'll explain. It is vintage, so I got it second hand. For me, a vintage bag was the way forward for a few reasons. One of them being the Chanel bags brand new are like extortionate prices for me i actually prefer the look of the vintage one because i like the 24 karat gold it has i'm gonna go into it when i'm actually holding the bag but i did get it second hand i was sent so many videos and pictures and i asked about 20 billion questions so by the looks of it the bag is in really good vintage condition which is what we all want this is my first impression of the bag as well like i haven't looked at it yet so i can't even tell you how excited i am all wrapped up in tissue paper so she's wrapped it all up in tissue paper it's also got one of the flowers that you get when you buy a chanel bag on the bags as well which is so cute mm. i went for the black classic flap from chanel she's from the 90s oh my god i feel really emotional <laughs> Oh, i'm really overwhelmed for some reason as well i'm obsessed with the 90s i just love the look of the bag. I'm not really overwhelmed, doesn't know what to say. This is the medium flap and it's from the early 90s. So it's actually lambskin and I just love the shine that it has to it as well. I'm gonna talk about my experience buying it but I wanna show you the inside of it as well. So I think we open it up. It has a protective flap and then you open up that and it's this gorgeous burgundy colour which I think they're like known for having this burgundy colour inside it. This flap was made by Coco Chanel apparently, this zip here, to hide her love letters in. It's like a secret compartment so that would be so good for storage, this part here. I don't really know what I would actually put in this bit. I definitely don't have anyone to write love letters to and I don't think I would do that anyway. I guess we could find a use for this. I, I think it would be good for your credit card actually because you could just quickly open up the bag, grab your credit card from this bit and then zip it back up again. That's the only thing I could think could go in there. And then this is the inside. Oh my god, it's, it's so beautiful. Like that colour, that rich burgundy colour. I can't get over it. This part here is meant for your lipstick. This little part here, can you see it? It's actually the medium size. I went for this size because I think it is the classic size. They did have a smaller one as well, which I thought was so cute. A lot of my bags that I have now are actually really small. So I wanted to get something that I could fit a little bit more in. I don't want to like cram it with stuff, but I thought this could actually carry my camera as well. But the other one, the other size, the nine inch, and the other one the lady was selling was a nine inch, but that would be good for, I think that one's more of an evening bag because it's small. That one is a little bit smaller, but I thought go for the medium because I can then fit a bit more in it. You know how much I love the 90s and that kind of look. And I just think, right, so imagine this imagine this top just with a plain pair of jeans and this bag. Like, it just elevates the look. I thought I would talk about my experience buying the bag. I got it from a brand called Luxury Promise. They are quite well known on Instagram, so you might have heard of them. But they sell loads of luxury designer pieces. Grace actually bought me a pink Chanel bag for my birthday from them. I knew that they were a trustworthy company and I followed the lady for ages. I follow their vintage page and I think it's run by a lady called Winnie, I think. She helped me out with this. She was sending me so many videos. She was so helpful, obviously, because it was my first Chanel purchase. I had so many questions. I wanted to make sure that it was perfect and everything. She sent me loads of videos and photos. I even asked to see pictures of it crossbody and across the shoulder and she took pictures of it for me. You can tell that she really knows her stuff when it comes to Chanel so I definitely recommend going through them if you want to buy a vintage bag. I do think they also sell relatively new ones as well so it's not just like 90s bags. They sell like ones from a couple years ago as well but you can tell that she really knows her stuff so I would definitely recommend going with them if you're looking for a Chanel bag because they're a trusted company. You know that you're going to get what you've paid for and this, I can't even tell you. I'm not going to lie, I thought it might come with a couple of scratches and I would have understood that because it is a vintage bag. But this bag is 
flawless. I can't, I can't even believe it. There's no scratches. You, you wouldn't believe that this is vintage and from like 30 years ago. Guys, so I'm just putting the bag away and I didn't read the letter that was in the box. And it's a letter from Winnie who helped me buy it. And she said, thank you for your order. I was really happy to help you with your first Chanel bag. It's a slippery slope. I'm sure it's not the first. God, it's going to be an addiction now, isn't it? How sweet of her is that? This is such an achievement for me. I feel really, <laughs> I feel really emotional. Um, I can't, I can't get over it. I can't recommend Luxury Promise enough. And I also can't recommend buying a vintage bag enough. I just can't get over how good condition it's in. Like it is pristine, like for, for a vintage bag, this is incredible. This has probably been the worst unboxing you've ever watched, but I feel like I've kind of covered everything I wanted to say. She's gonna stay with me for life. I can imagine pushing around a pram with this. I can imagine being an old lady with this. I can imagine, I can imagine wearing this with a cute slip dress, going out clubbing. Actually, I probably wouldn't because it's precious. I can imagine being a really glam mum, pushing a buggy in this. This bag is gonna suit me for my whole life. I was looking on Vestia for a couple of months for a Chanel bag, but every one I would find, would there would be something, and the pictures aren't always the same as what the bag looks like. So if you go through Luxury Promise, so they can send you videos of the bag like in person, I think you can go and view their bags as well in a store, because they do have a store near Bond Street actually. I don't know if it's open at the minute because of COVID. Winnie sent me enough pictures and videos, and she sent them in like natural light as well, so I knew that there wasn't gonna be any damage on it. I think the reason why I love vintage bags as well is because this bag has lived a much more exciting life. I would love to know who owned it before me. I wish vintage bags came with like a, a picture of who owned it in the past, and what they did and how they styled it. I would love to know, but we'll never know. My wardrobe is open at the minute, and I'm looking at everything. It pretty much goes with everything in my wardrobe that I can see. I'm gonna get so much wear out of it. I am a bit overwhelmed, so I know this video has probably been all over the place, but I do hope you enjoyed it. I've done these videos for most of the luxury things I've bought, and I just, I really enjoy watching them because I love seeing what other people buy. That was my real first reaction to it, and I kind of wanted to document it on the channel. I hope I gave all the info that I need to. And I've probably missed stuff out. Definitely follow my Instagram if you want to see me style the bag. Because, as I've mentioned, it will be worn probably with every outfit. <laughs> I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Mwah.